Good morning and welcome back to GST at Home. My name is Saba and today I'm going to show you the highly requested pepper and soap demonstration. For the demonstration you need a nice flat surface like a kitchen table, a white plate or bowl. It doesn't have to be white if you don't have one at home. However, we do find it's easier to visualise the experiment if the plate has no patterns on the surface. You also need some pepper, washing up liquid or hand wash, a jug of water, a towel or kitchen roll just in case things get a little messy. Now, to start with, we're going to place our plate on a nice flat surface and then pour water onto it, just enough to cover half of the plate. Now, let's sprinkle pepper on top of the water. Not too much, otherwise the pepper will clump together and you won't be able to visualise the experiment nicely. If we have a look, we can see that the pepper sits nicely on the surface of the water. This is because water has a high surface tension. Water molecules are strongly attracted to each other. In fact, water is quite special. It has one of the highest surface tensions of most liquids, which is why some insects can actually sit on the surface of the water, like the pond skater for example. Pepper is very light, that's why it doesn't sink to the bottom of the plate. Also, pepper is something we call hydrophobic, which means that water is not attracted to it, which is why pepper doesn't mix and dissolve in with the water. Now for the fun part, we're going to get our fingers and dip them gently onto the surface of the water and see what happens. Nothing exciting really happens. In fact, I do have some pepper specks stuck to the tip of my finger, but we're going to come back to this later on. For now, let's give our hands a quick wipe and try something else. This time, let's put some washing up liquid on the tips of our fingers, just enough to cover them and dip them back into the plate and see what happens this time. Wow, did you see that? All the pepper moved away from our fingertips right to the edges of the plate. This is because soap is something we call a surfactant. Surfactants are able to reduce the surface tension of water, flattening the water molecules and allowing them to spread out. As the water molecules spread out, they take the pepper away with them. Soap is also really good at washing away all the germs from our hands. If we remember back to when we first dipped our fingers into the plate, some of the pepper stuck to our fingertips. For a minute, let's imagine that pepper as germs. When we stuck our soapy fingers into the plate, the germs were scared away. This is because germs like to cling to the oils and grease on our hands. Sounds yucky, I know, but it's totally normal. Water can, is not enough to wash away the germs from our hands because water and oil don't like to mix. If we have a look at this jug, as I pour the oil in, you'll be able to see that the oil rises to the top and doesn't actually mix with the water. Oil and water really don't like to mix with each other. Our soapy surfactant, however, has one end that's hydrophilic, water loving, and another end that's hydrophobic, oil loving. I'm going to add some of the soap to our jug of water and oil and let's see what happens. Let's give it a good stir. So the soap actually weakens the bonds between the water molecules. So one end of the water molecule can now bind to the soap. The other end of the soap binds to the oil. This causes the oil and water to actually mix really well with each other. When we wash our hands, the soap is able to bind to the water and oil at the same time, making everything slippery. When we wash our hands for 20 seconds, the germs will become very slippery. And when we rinse them, they'll wash away with the soap down the drain. That's why it's really important to thoroughly wash your hands so we don't get sick. Thank you all for watching and if you try this demonstration at home, please take pictures and tag us on our social media.